Hello. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Commonwealth Court of Pennsylvania, one of our statewide appellate courts. We have three statewide appellate courts in Pennsylvania. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court is our highest court, and below that we have two intermediate appellate courts, the Superior Court of Pennsylvania and the Commonwealth Court. The Commonwealth Court is the youngest by comparison. It's only been in existence for 40 years and was created in the Constitutional Convention of 1968. It was first formed in 1970, made up of seven judges. The purpose of the Commonwealth Court was to alleviate some of the caseload in the Superior Court. So what happened was our General Assembly and our Pennsylvania Supreme Court carved out some of the jurisdiction of the, of the Superior Court and decided to put certain limited jurisdiction cases in our new Commonwealth Court of Pennsylvania. My name is Kevin Brobson and I'm a candidate for Commonwealth Court in this year's election on November 3rd. And we've broken out the jurisdiction of the Commonwealth Court into four areas, into many lectures, that we hope you'll take an opportunity at your leisure to review. Each lecture is less than six minutes and we'll be covering different aspects of the Commonwealth Court's jurisdiction. The first we'll be covering is appeals from the Courts of Common Pleas. We'll also be covering appeals from state administrative agencies, original jurisdiction actions against the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and insurance receivership proceedings where the Commonwealth Court serves as a bankruptcy court for insurance bankruptcies and receiverships. We hope you'll take an opportunity to review the lectures at your leisure. Thank you for your interest.